Alright guys, welcome back to Daily Rules Because I like TCG <laughs> Welcome back to Daily Rules So today, of course, it is Tuesday That means we're using Tower Knight's TCG, of course So this guy is super salty And now I'm super salty because his hand is making me super salty Like, wow, alright So this deck might need some editing Definitely might need some editing Because right now it is not looking too hot Sometimes I open up great And I'm able to go to my plays And sometimes the deck just kind of grinds and, uh, so if I need to you know take this deck back under the you know under the knife and fix it then you know more power to me but I, 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 I definitely do I definitely do wow you could have at least gotten your direct attack before playing chaos zone but all right you know that was kind of just not what I expected you to do just like this deck is not expecting me to do much of anything. Alright, so memo to myself. Maybe increase the Teller Knight count. Uh, I don't think the Teller Knight count is high enough right now. Yeah. So, we might go ahead and do that. Because right now, it is not looking too hot. Uh, I can't play anything. I can't literally can't do anything. It's been happening a couple of times with this deck. When I open up with the Deneb and we're able to go off with Deneb. Yeah, that's all I need is one Deneb and we're golden. It's only here is one Deneb and we're golden. But if I don't get that one Deneb, man, I struggle. So, you know, maybe I should start playing things like Unukula High and stuff like that. Because right now it's not looking too hot. Because I can't play anything. You know? The Chaos Sorcerer and stuff is kind of gimmicky. I could probably take them out. So, I probably will. To tell you the truth, I'm probably going to be taking them out. Uh, I thought, you know, maybe throwing a little bit of Chaos. Like, oh, well, I'm running Dark Monsters like Kage and I can Insta Fusion into Dark Flare. I think I'm running Dark Flare. So I was like, I got Darks and I got Lights. But, you know, that, what I've been noticing is that A, you know, sometimes I won't get to Dark, so they're not that good. Plus, you know, I don't have any Lights right now. And B, I generally don't want to banish my Telenite Monsters. You know? So I'm thinking about maybe putting in some Unukula highs, you know, especially if I lose this duel right here because I pretty much get nothing. Which seems like that's what's going to happen because all I need to do is just go attack, attack again, which would be another 3,900, make a cowboy and shoot me. So that will literally be game. And I've literally done nothing, which would, of course, suck. So since losing, I'm going to change that. I'm going to try to I'm gonna take out the Chaos Sorcerer. Probably the BLS just see him as well and try to throw in some Unicola hides because clearly I got the revival I got the revival right here. I hear the rivals here It's just I don't have anything to do with it. So maybe by increasing the Unicola high I know I right, said so I need more practice with the Teller Knight deck so far. I'm not I'm not doing too hot with it. So yeah. Wow, you want to send infection That's very shocking because infection such a good card, you know if you want to. You know, so like I said, all we need is a Deneb. We could probably get it started. That's all we really need. Ow. So he's definitely using... All we need is a monster that can normal summon, really. You know? So maybe I'll try to deck around. Maybe take out the darks and just run it how I would generally run it, you know. Because right now it's not looking too hot. Ophion? Ophion's fine. Ophion really doesn't fade me besides Chaos Sorcerer. Like I said, if I could just get a fucking. a fucking monster I can normal summon. Anything. Anything I can normal summon, we can actually play this game. That'll work. That'll work. That will work. I cannot go for tri tri Troop Heal. Because Trivial, of course, requires me to have all Teller Knight monsters, which sucks. Because I would love to go to Trivial and put everything back, but, yeah, that's not going to work, clearly. So, I'm just going to try to play. Like I said, depends on what he has, because I know some of that is actually some back row. Alright. I was thinking, I was like, there's going to probably be Vanity's emptiness in there. So, hmm, if I Insta Fusion Summon and make an Exiton, that would wipe out so much of my cards, but it would wipe out his cards as well. It might be better to risk it, so I, I Insta Fusion, 
I'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But if I make an exit tunnel and I wipe the field, he would still have Thunderbird. And Thunderbird can, of course, run over my Exiton. Uh, this is not the time to be paying life points, clearly, but I don't got much of a choice. Yeah. So definitely, definitely having some consistency issues here. Definitely having some consistency issues. Well, it definitely looks like he has something for my ass. I'm going for the safe play of the 101 would be fine. I know one of them is Infestation Pandemic, but I don't know the other two. I don't card this turn when any monster effect without the target turn. Blah, 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 blah. During your player's turn, except the turn is discovered since the guy, you can banish this card in line. Uh -huh. <sighs> Definitely struggling here. So it can't be targeted for the rest of the turn. Hmm. He can do that. He can block twice. Like, Skill Prisoner has that card has not been played in like a cool minute. So, uh, I got a lot of revival. So I only run two Vega. So, there are my two Vegas right there. Rotas, the Nebs, anybody, anybody, anybody? No. Okay. Mhm. Mm Alright, well that card should be fun to deal with. No, that's fine. So it doesn't matter how I detach. So clearly I want him to use that skill prisoner, but it's, like I said, it's going to be kind of difficult to rip it out of his hands. This duel is not fun at all. It's a, my kingdom for fucking uh, go ahead and flip that up. I'm just gonna kill your Thunderbirds. Like I said, I knew you're gonna activate Collapsion, which is totally fine. So you're just gonna turn two in my hand, like I said. I don't care. Fine. Can you chain Thunderbird and hop out of the way with that? Can you? No, I guess not. That's fine. Don't I have a light? I have a light and I have a dark. How come I can't special summon? Oh, Ophion. Didn't even think of that. Didn't even think of that. I was like, I can't even, why can't I summon? Like, Ophion, like, oh, yeah, forgot about him. Definitely forgot about him. Duel has just been a struggle for me. Has... Mm. Nah, that's fine. I'm 
can get yourself another infection. All right. Oh, that's fine. The only card that I don't know right now is this one. I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this. So, there's only one mysterious card right now in this duel. And of course, Vega just gets to summon nothing, so that's awesome. Oh my god, please give me some fucking Teller Knights. Like, where are my Teller Knights? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. This is getting ridiculous. I shit you not, this is getting ridiculous. Like, this is getting comical with the fact that I'm not getting any fucking Teller Knights at all. At all. <laughs> like, Vega is just fucking holding down the front this entire duel. Like, I can't even do anything with the Kages. Like, I wish they were fucking goldfish right now. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I can't do shit. I can't do shit. Oh, I can special summon Square Social now because he detached. Go ahead and use your fucking skill, prisoner. You have no attach. Oh my god. Mint on Ophion. I'm gonna get out of this situation. I'm gonna figure this fucking out. It's gonna take every single card that I have, but I'm gonna figure this out. Alright, for one, shut that shit up. Alright, still don't know what this card is. Yep. And I said, I want to get out of this situation. I'm going to do it. I can't even play the fucking... In That's the struggle. I can't even play the fucking Instafusion that I drew. Because I'm my life points are too low. Like, this game... This game is ridiculous. It wants to show me... Some magic fucking triculous, and it's ridiculous. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna fucking do this. Unless you have another skill prisoner. I can't target it? I thought I just said this was hard. You can banish this card, you probably gonna target one more control and then brought the result to Oh, I read it wrong. Oops, my bad. Oh well. You got it. Uh. All right, I'm gonna go get another duel. And I thought it said that it negated that monster that targeted it. I, I don't know. I don't know. No one uses skill prisoner, so I never really read it correctly. Oh well. So I need to fix this. That clearly, like I said, if I if I was getting the cards that I needed, I would have done fine. But clearly, I was just drawing like the ass. So I tried to pull off with something like is. I thought I could have took this Ophion, because I thought it said just, you know, negate the monster. I didn't read it right. I thought it said, you know, negate the monster's effect that targeted it, not the other way around. I read it wrong. Then I could have took him, and then I maybe could have done something. But, you know, this, like, this isn't working. This clearly isn't working. This deck did not want to cooperate with me at all, this duel. Like, all the Vegas. No Rotas, no Denebs, no nothing. So, yeah. All right. I'll get another duel in. Bear back. All right, guys. 
I fixed the deck, so let's try it out now. Yeah. Oh, this hand is much fucking better. Much fucking better. Like, wow. As I said, all I needed was the one fucking Deneb. But nah, the fucking game decided not to give me fucking shit. So, thank you. Let me get my ass beat by Evil Swarm. Just to rub it in my face. It's rub it in my face. Like, see? This is how Evil Swarms beat so nice. Because you know, in the, in the fucking tournament, you know, in your fucking... Well, I see it's Anaheim. You were using Evil Swarm. You were going against Tonites and you couldn't beat them. You see? See? That's how you do it. Like... I get it. My luck is ass. I get it. I understand that. But you don't have to fucking troll the living shit out of me. Like, is it really necessary to troll the living fuck out of me 24-7? Like, I get it. I get it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anyway. Uh, as you can tell by the title, I'm supposed to be telling you guys about something, of course. But that duel is just so stressful and distracting. Oh, rekindling. Wow. Alright, Gold Sark, Foolish. Alright, Number Generator, I see you! I fucking see you. So, two turns from now, with fucking rekindling, I'm gonna get my ass beat. Like, I fucking see you. I fucking see you. Anyway. I'm supposed to be telling you guys uh, about uh, my finals, two of my finals. So pretty much the semester is uh, pretty much over, which is awesome because I love the fact that, oh, yes, Nova. Oh, my God, yes. Like, there's there's nothing better right now than getting that fucking Nova for that goddamn rekindling. Nothing better. The nuclear high, you just kind of kind of sit there now. Like I said, all I need is one Deneb in the graveyard and I can get started, so... Well, that's all I need is one Deneb. So I'm totally happy about that. Alright, Delta Rust time. Yes. So, semester is uh, pretty much over, guys. It is pretty much over, which is awesome, because it's been a cool minute. Well, this semester wasn't that long, actually. It felt a lot quicker. The, oh, yes. Perfect. Perfect pop. Perfect pop. Snack crackle pop. Rice Krispies. Right there. I hope you got another MST. I hope that other face down is an MST as well. Because if it's not... You know what? I'm going to set this just in case. I'm going to set it all, actually. Just to scare the living shit out of you. And face space? Another one? No? Yes! Mm, yes, mm, fuck you with Kendall. Yes, bitch. Uh, gonna beat your ass, bitch. Hell yeah, I'll fucking Nova my fucking Delta Ross to stop your kindling. Hell fucking yeah. Cards limited to one for a reason. Like, hello? Like, what next? Soul Charge 2? Hell yeah. Activate my effect. Detach. Blow that shit up. I don't care. So I guess you want to go ahead and send her to the graveyard. She should be like, effect! Send more levels! 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 Like, okay, keep going. Keep fucking sending. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna beat your fucking ass. Like, you don't understand. You know what? I'm gonna summon a nuclear high. Cause you know what fucking the nuclear high does? Do you know what fucking this guy does? He's an 18 beater who I'm clearly Nova for. Wow, I can send it. It's a it's a it's a Telonite card. Never knew that. Never knew that. Well, you know, then I should get a Telonite card that can return Telonite cards. Definitely. Do you say cards? No, you say monsters. They need a Telonite that can return cards. That's what they need. Cause if they had that, then you might be able to utilize him much better. You know. Like, send Nova, then return Nova to your hand and equip it or something. And when this card is summoned, take one Telerite Monster's card from your graveyard and add it to your hand. Like, definitely, that would be awesome. Don't my warrior returning alive, huh? 
No, that's fine. I don't give a shit about that. You can send all the low walls you want. They're probably just gonna send another one to her, though. Who'd you send? Two of this guy. I don't know who he does. <sighs> I really don't like the idea that you're clearly gonna go for Black Rose. But I can't stop you. Black Rose? Who the fuck is that? Alright, this card's so gonna send one card from your hand to the graveyard. When this card is targeted by a card effect, you can banish one low launch. No, that's fine. Because you gotta send one card from your hand to graveyard. Alright, send rekindling? I don't give a fuck! Sending rekindling. As if I was the fucker that I was afraid of. No, you're just destroying my warrior returning alive. It's like, it sucks, but it's fine. Killing my Delta Rust, that's fine. Hell yeah, I activate Delta Rust effect. Who do I want? Uh, summon you from my deck. So awesome. So awesome. I might have to talk at the end of this video because I'm so distracted by this duel, but I got this duel in a bag. Like, this guy fucked up. I thought literally he was going to go for Black Rose, then I was going to negate with Nova, and then he was going to rekindle and all his shit back. That's what I thought he was going to do, but then, of course, he didn't. So, I, I, I don't even know who the fuck this is. Oh, so if I target you, you can negate me. Ah, okay, then I'm gonna go for a tree hero. This bitch. You could just not get targeted and leave my presence. I love how he popped everything but the Nova. I mean, those were your returning lies. They would have been super helpful, but, you know, you popping my fucking... Yeah, just quit. Just quit. It's over. It's over. You fucked up. Like, that guy, when he sent or someone, someone called from the underground, I did my job, drops, I'm like, you're gonna send rekindling. Really? I thought he was gonna go, sink or summon, black rose, wipe the field. Oh, of course, I was gonna negate, and then he was gonna go, rekindling, summon everything back. Like, that's what I thought he was gonna do. But then he went for that guy, and I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? I don't give a shit about him, so hello? Anyway, let me tell you guys about my uh, finals. So, my finals for Monday, uh, of course, my Mondays, I have my education class, I have women's literature. So, uh... My education class, my final, literally, I already have, I already have a guaranteed A, guaranteed fucking A. Even if I got a zero on the final, I would still get an A because his class, the way it's structured, all the points add up. So you get points for your final, so you can either get no points or four points, and then that gets added onto the grade. So like I said, I already had an A, I had a guaranteed A. Nothing on that I could have done in the final could have dropped me any lower or raised me any higher. You know, there is no A plus. I had an A. That's the highest grade you can get. There was really no point in me trying, so literally I just walked in the class, grabbed the final. I was just bubbling things. I was just bubbling answers. I kind of read them, kind of didn't. Like, if it was like a short question, like, like it's short, true or false, one sentence, I read it, and I was like, if I knew it, I put it, but if I had no idea, fuck it, I guess. But there were some that were like thick-ass paragraphs. I was like, I don't care. Nope, not reading that shit. And then on the last question, I was like, it was like, if you're reading this question, the answer is B, have a great break and continue on with your teaching. So, yeah, I was like, B, like... That's probably the only question I got right. <laughs> Hello. So, um, yeah, that was pretty much it. Left class. Um, I chilled. I was watching. I was. I was waiting for um, uh, Amish girl because, of course, you know, as you know, last time seeing her. So uh, I finished way before her. Like she was taking her time, all methodical and shit on her shit. Like literally, when I was like done with fifty questions, I'm done with all fifty questions. She started before me. I look over at her paper, and she's like not even. She's still in the teens. She's not even at twenty yet. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna go out and wait. So I went outside and you know oh, took out my phone, watched some, uh, watched Northern Line play some Binding of Isaac, and I just waited for. her. So finally, she got done. So stood up and. We started walking together, just talking. She's like, "Oh, oh, this is like this is it. This is all so sad." And I'm like, "Oh, I guess, you know." So uh, we get to the B building where the Yu-Gi-Oh table is, and she was pretty much just like, "Oh, well, you know, you can go ahead and go and hang out with the Yu-Gi-Oh guys because I got some studying to do." And then she's like, "Okay, bye, like, bye." And then she just walked off, like, "Wow." So you know, 
You know, that's how you're going to treat a friend who you spent the entire semester with. You didn't give me your cell phone number. Nothing. All right. Bye. Like, all right. So, now we're going to see her again, probably. So, you know. Oh, well. Ask me if I give a shit. Shut the fuck up. So, uh, I don't give a shit about that. So, literally, I got out so early from that final, so early, that I had to wait a cool minute. I had to wait, like, oh, my God. I had to wait, like, two hours before my next class started, pretty much. Yeah, like, two fucking hours before my next class fucking started. Like, hello? <laughs> So, you know, I sat at the ta you get table and kind of, you know, chatted for a while. Uh, there was actually a guy there who was running Teller Nights, and I kept on constantly trying to freaking correct him because he was doing shit wrong, and, you know, I was fucking just rule-checking him and shit. Like, I was just like, no, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. No, you did this wrong, you know. Like, he would go, oh, I have some to nab in attack mode, and I would just take the nab and just turn it sideways. Like, <sighs> stop. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, let's do that. So then, um, one of my classmates from women's literature comes by, and, uh, usually I go talk to her, so I went to go and talk with her, just chilled with her, and then there was another classmate, and I was talking to them. Uh, so we were talking a little while, you know, talking about our project, our final project, it's called something else, so literally, the assignment was to, uh, bring in something, and then, uh, type a one-paragraph essay. It, one paragraph essay, like one paragraph, where you type it, and uh, then get up in class and present your object and state why how it relates to uh, women's literature and what you learned in the class. It's not this isn't the only class that he does it for. He does it for all of his classes, so you know, this one. So I literally procrastinated. I literally went to the wa to Walmart fucking Sunday night. Literally went to Walmart, went to and got me a fucking went to, like they had like this discount area. Went over there. They had like this owl bowl on sale. I literally bought that and I just presented that. <laughs> and I love just BSing the owl and the wise woman priestess because that's the, what I know best. So, uh, we get in the class. Uh, he literally gives us our, our grade so far without the final assignment. So, adding up all my points, I have an 81. Which is, uh, of course, a B-. minus. So, you know, I'll take a B. I'll take a B. I'm like, B, 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 B is fine. B is okay with me. So, uh, you know, that's not including the, the project. So, you know, he gets everybody's grades and we start a presentation. So, he's just calling people out. I don't know how he was calling them. Because at first I thought it was alphabetical. But then all of a sudden he just was jumping all around. So, you know, eventually he caught me. I got up. I presented. I totally wasn't nervous. I wasn't. Like, I was chill. Like, I didn't get two shits. I was just, I was cool with it. So, uh, you know, he liked our presentation. He thought it was uh, very knowledgeable. I understood what I was talking about. So, um... He gave me a 10. So he gave me 10 points. So 10 points added on to my 81 gives me a 91. And that is an A minus. So in the class where I thought I was going to get a B, I got an A minus. And I'll take that A minus. Man, fuck a A's. You know? A minus all day. I can go with that. That's better than what I was expecting. So I got an A minus in that class. And I got an A in my education class. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, so those, those are the two finals. Uh, so I got two more. So, um... Uh, on Tuesday, I got my final for women's studies while in calculus were uh, reviewing. And then, no class Wednesday, because those two classes are done. And then on Thursday, I have my, uh, my calculus final with, of course, no class early in the morning. Because there will be I'd be done with women's uh, studies. So, that's it. And then the semester is over. I don't go back till like, January, the end of January. So, I got a ton of time to spend with you guys. <laughs> Yay. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of, uh, of, uh, Daily Duels, like I said. We're just going to try a nuclear high. Like I said, I do not know what the hell is up. Like, for some reason, that first duel, the deck did not want to cooperate. All I needed was a Deneb. That's all I needed was a Deneb. <laughs> and I would have been fine, but no. No Deneb in sight. So, the struggles are real. One Deneb. One Deneb. One. One. If I got one Deneb, I could have went Deneb, search for Altair. You know, I could have went Call. You know, you know, I could have, if I had Vega, or I didn't, I could have went, you know, Vega, Altair, Dnet, XC, make Trivial, put everything back, you know? Like, but no. But no. But no. You know? So, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't know. I do not know. 
that first duel, that deck, this deck just didn't want to cooperate with me. Sometimes Death Pro does not want to cooperate with me. Sometimes we get videos where I'm just like, he was Heroes, for example, Heroes. I get a duel, no search cards in sight. You know, there's a, there's a, at the time, there was Triple Dark Claw, Triple Placement, Triple Rota, Triple Econ, Triple Hero List, 15 fucking cards. None of them, like, alright, alright, thank you. And none of them for a cool man. I thought they drawing fucking shit. You know, there's fucking daily duels with fucking Heraldic. The deck runs 22 monsters, get duels with no fucking monsters in hand, and not drawn to any monsters until I lose. Like, re, re fucking ridiculous. Like, I don't know what's up with you, Dev Pro, but sometimes. You know, I get my luck as ass, but you do not have to fucking troll me. And I was clearly a troll. You know, this duel was much better. Much better, you know. I got that Deneb, and it was on. It was on like Donkey Kong. You only need one Deneb. You only need one, you know. So, yeah. Anyway. That's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it an episode. So, like I said, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, um, tomorrow, we're, we're going to have double daily duels. Um, it's going to be the deck profile of... Uh, Homer Yokai, they're off. I'm, I'm tired of that deck. Like, it's not that strong. It's not. I tried to make it as best as I possibly could, and still just. Mm -mm. So, Homer Yokai is off. So, gonna be doing the deck profile of that, and, um. Um. It'll be. And then you'll get a second day of the duels with the deck that'll be placing Hermit Yokai on Wednesdays. The new deck. Technically, it's not new. But, yeah. The deck replacing Hermit Yokai on Daily Duel. So, look forward to it. So, you get double Daily Duels tomorrow. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Deck Profile Hermit Yokai and the deck that I'll be replacing on Daily Duels. Alright, thanks for watching.